basically what I'm doing is it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm walking walking to Griffith Park uh, from Glendale to uh, basically climb up the mountain. Just so everyone knows, I do have supplies with me. Uh, I have a backpack full of food and I have water and um, whatever other supplies I probably need. Um, I'm attempting to make my way all the way up to Los Feliz and cross over from there because uh, it is the, pretty much the only route uh, to really get you to Griffith Park. Uh, so I had to stop real quick in the road uh, just to get a shot of this um, view. It's it's really dark, but as you can see, if you look if you look in right here along the ridge, it's going to be a nice flat climb straight to the top. Um, it's really like this. It's really the um, lowest part of the mountain. I if I wanted to go all the way over, you know, the mountain just keeps going up and up. But uh, I'm going to play it safe this time around since I haven't done this before and, you know, just take the, um, the, the, smallest, route, the smallest route first uh, and see where it goes from there. Just reached the Los Angeles River. Um, and, you know, in the background right there you can see uh, the mountain, Griffith Park Mountain. And um, just below... You can probably hear it, but the Los Angeles River is running pretty rapid right now. It's going to be kind of hard to get into this uh, park, especially at this time. I already saw a couple cops rolling through. Uh, they're probably park rangers, um, but as you can see, right there, Griffith Park. Right here, it's right here to my uh, to my right. Um, I see cars going through uh, down Crystal Springs Drive. Uh, there are campsites over here, it's a thing. So it, it doesn't surprise me that there's actually traffic rolling through at all times of the hour. So I've just entered the flatland, the flatland of uh, Griffith Park here, and uh, already I've already encountered a coyote um, back here in the back distance. Um, it looked at me, it looked me straight in the eye and just started running. Uh, these things are really scared creatures. They don't attack unless they're provoked most of the time. The last main attack actually hap happened in uh, 2004. Uh, it was actually a mountain lion attack um, with one fate. It ended up, you know, being a fatality involved in the situation. Um, but I've done my research uh, to basically figure out you know, what type of situations I'm going to be running into here. Uh, nothing major, really. It's literally been about five minutes uh, since the last time uh, I turned this camera on. And it just started pouring like crazy out of nowhere. Um, so we're going to kind of just sit around and wait it out a while and see if, see if it'll pass up. Uh, the weather was looking pretty good all the way over here. It's a good thing it didn't rain on me. Ooh, that mountain's looking nasty right now. I'm starting to get more light, so it's much easier to see where I'm going. Plus, it's always dangerous to uh, to hike a, at at night anyway. I kind of do it as fast as I can before it starts raining again. Uh, so. so we're gonna try to find some back routes up the side of this mountain. Let's see if I can get up there just by free, free hiking, basically, um, with no map or anything. See, there's a side slope here that can basically take me up to the side and then down and across all the way to where I want to go. The problem is, is because, of it's, because of the rain and all, I've already attempted to um, go up this slope right here, and I slipped and fell already once. Um, that's the problem, is that there's so much mud. The mud's just built up, you know, from the rain all night, and just making it really difficult just to get up the side of the uh, this little slope. It kind of shows you what I'm kind of in for here as far as the rest of the mountain goes, especially when I start getting to steeper areas. If there are branches nearby and you're trying this, they help a lot. And even the leaves, the leaves are all over the ground and they're just as slippery as the mud. Oh, and there's rock under here too as well. 
it's something you can't really notice because it's kind of they're kind of covered by the uh, by the leaves and the mud that's been developed throughout the night. I'm gonna try to grab onto this branch right here. Just pull myself up. One thing's for certain: you have to be really careful with. Mountains like these, as you can see all the rocks on the ground. A rock almost fell and hit me right now, actually. See, most of this is still fire damage from the big fire they had here back in April and May of this year. And there's the top, that's what we're aiming for, right there. I'll tell you what, this is just amazing, just to see all of this in person, just like this. Everything's just dead here. It's going to make it highly unlikely that we see anything living, any rodents, maybe some snakes, if anything, some rattlesnakes. But that's pretty much going to be about it. So basically the deal is this. I kind of had to stop for a few minutes to get some water. and wash off my hands a little. It was tough getting out of that creek back there. All in all, it's looking like it's not going to be too bad. We got about another 30 minutes of hiking straight up this um, trail right here. And uh, should be at the top. Okay, so along my journey here, uh, it's no surprise to me that I find some bones along the way. Um, looks like what we have here is... I couldn't even tell you what that is, but... You can see, you can see the teeth to it right there. Um, along the ridge right there, the teeth is the inside. This is the type of stuff that you end up running into out here. But a lot of this has been really, really tough to get through, for the most part. Uh, really slippery. I can't stay down here in this creek any longer. It's just, it's not taking me anywhere. I need to start going up that way or that way. Either way, we need to start making our way up. There's a lot of leaves right here and the, basically the bad thing about this is just the sheer fact that you don't really want to walk on a whole lot of loose leaves, especially when they're piled up like this, because you never know what's underneath them. Um, all I know is that I need to get to the top, and it's going to be really difficult for me to get to the top um, with my shoes muddied, all muddied up like this. Um, I'm going to have to, you know, just take the risk and start trying to go upwards. It's really steep from here on out, so it's going to be really hard for me to really videotape any more from here all the way up to the top. Um, we'll see what we can get, though. Okay, luckily for me, I found this really nice cobblestone, like, rock stone walkway. Um, that should help me all the way up to the top without me having to go through any more, uh, sides of mud and whatnot. Because it's really starting to take its toll, physically. Yeah, it looks like it's still taking me down a creek. But the good news is, as you can see, ooh, really, really steep to get up there. So as you can see, in my eyes, I really do believe it was all worth it. Accomplishment, mission completed, well done. Here's downtown Glendale right here. As we walk over, you can still see all the uh, burnt, all the ground that's been burnt up, all the trees. It's just a beautiful view from here. And you can see the uh, slope where I had to come up through just to get up here. Oh, it was, it was painful, I'll tell you.